What's going on, Maz Vibe Party people? Coach Anderson here, and welcome back to another one. So in this video, we're going to be going over a practice test level question. And just as a reminder, on Monday coming up, we do have a practice test review session, and it is for free for all my students. Everybody can join. So you can go ahead and find us, duranlearning.com, or check the link out in the description of this video or the link in my bio. So let's go ahead and tackle this question here so we can really raise that confidence and raise that score. First things first, as always, we're going to read that question. So how many total or how many adult tickets were sold? So again, how many adult tickets were sold? So that's what we want to focus on right there. So we're looking for the number of adult tickets. And as always, make sure to pause the video if you want to give this a chance for yourself. So we know what we're looking for. We don't have the entire context yet. We don't know what math we need to do, but we do absolutely know that we're looking for the number of adult tickets sold. So when we go back and read the information, this is where we're going to get the pieces and the clues to understand what kind of math we're trying to set up. So a local theater sells adult tickets for $12 and student tickets for $8. Okay, so it looks like we have two different things going on here. We do have those adult tickets and we know that they are $12 each. But we also have student tickets, and I'm going to write that over here. I'm going to say student tickets. We don't know how many were sold there either, but we do know that they were $8 a piece right there. Student tickets for $8. So I'll go ahead and write that out. Eight each. All right. Now up next, it reads, on a particular night, they sold a total of 200 tickets. And then the total revenue from ticket sales that night was $2,160. So think about all of this together. What are we doing here? What are we looking at? And this is an upper level question because this is a system of equations word problem. So if you feel like this is a little out of your reach at the moment, hey, that's probably why, because we do need to learn how to solve equations, how to set up equations, and then solving systems of equations. So don't feel bad. It's just going to take a little bit of refreshing and practice in those areas first. But follow along, and I'll show you if what you had so far was right. So again, we don't know how many adult tickets. We don't know how many student tickets. We know how much they each cost. And we know that there was a total right over here. Let me use purple. They sold a total of 200 tickets. So basically, adult tickets plus student tickets, and I'll just use S like that, plus student tickets equals 200. That's what I got from this right over here. That's what that told me. So that's that representation. Again, adult tickets plus student tickets equals 200. I think we can agree on the logic there. Now up next, it says the total revenue from the ticket sales was 2,160. So that's the bigger question. How are we supposed to represent the 2,160? Well, this is how we do it. We understand, and let me use a different color again. Let's use green. We understand that total revenue is going to be the cost or the amount that you got from adult tickets plus the amount that you got from student tickets. Add that together, and you do get the 2,160. So to go ahead and show that and represent that mathematically, here's how that's going to go. How do you determine the total revenue from adult tickets? Well, since they're $12 each, if I knew the number of adult tickets, which again, at this point, it's just going to be A. If we knew the number of adult tickets, it would be $12 times whatever the number of adult tickets was. So if it was three adult tickets that we sold, 12 times three would be 36, right? If we had 10 adult tickets sold, well, that would be 12 times 10, $120. So think about how I'm wording that. If I knew what the number of adult tickets was, then I would be able to understand the total revenue. But since we don't, all we can do is represent it. And this is how we're going to do it. Total revenue from adult tickets, it's going to be 12 times A. Whatever A is, whatever the amount of adult tickets was, boom, that'll give us the revenue for adult tickets. To get the revenue for student tickets, that'll end up being the same deal, but on this side. That'll be $8 multiplied by the number of student tickets for the same reason that we described for adult tickets. So that would be eight times S. All right, 
So take a look here. This is where things get a little complicated, but they don't have to be as long as you understand what you're looking at. This is a system of equations. All a system is, is where you have two equations that utilize the same variables. Solving this takes a little bit of work and practice, but once you get it down, it's actually gonna be quite enjoyable once you actually get the answer and you know that you're right. So here's how we can get this done. Since we're looking for the number of adult tickets, I'm gonna use this technique called elimination. I'm gonna to try to eliminate or get rid of the student ticket variable so I can solve an equation that just has the adult tickets. The way that I'm gonna go about it is noticing that, hey, if I had 8s and then 8s, I could subtract these equations. But since I don't, I can't. But the trick is you can get it there. So here's how we would do that. I would go ahead and multiply this entire equation, the left side and the right side. I'm gonna multiply it by eight. Again, whatever you do to one side, you're perfectly allowed to do to the other. And that's what I'm doing here. So with that said, once I do that, we'll have eight times a, so eight a, eight times s, so that'll be eight s, and then eight times 200, and that's gonna be 1600. So take a look, my party people. We can go ahead and copy the equation that we had on the bottom. So I'm just gonna duplicate that, put that right over here. And notice that now we again have a system of equations that we can use the technique called elimination. We can eliminate the S variable because what happens when you have the same thing subtracted from itself? It's gonna cancel out, right? And that's exactly what I'm hoping to do. So I'm actually going to move this one, this equation at the bottom, I'm gonna move it up top because the advantage that that's gonna give me is that when I subtract, I can keep things positive. And that gives me you know, some comfort knowing that I don't have to work with negative numbers. But again, to each their own, but let's continue. So from here, again, like I said, I'm going to subtract this entire equation from the top one. So just take a look how everything's nice and lined up. 12a minus 8a, that's gonna give us a remaining four of those a's. Then when we subtract 8s minus 8s, that's gonna cancel out. And then we have the equal sign, and on the right side, we'll have 2160 or 2160 minus 1600, and that's gonna give us a remainder of what? Well, when we subtract, that'll give us a remainder of 500 and 60. And so take a look at this beauty here. Now we have an equation that I think we can all agree is very solvable. 4a equals 560. When we solve this, we'll get a by itself. And guess what? That's what we're looking for, the number of adult tickets. So notice how we turn something really ugly into something very doable. And this is the point where I'm gonna remind you, you know, we have this practice test review coming up on Monday. It's free for everybody. We host free classes every Monday. So why not? Make sure to sign up so you can show up and keep raising that score with me and my party people. So here we go. We'll go ahead and divide both sides by four right there. And that's gonna cancel out the four on the left, leaving us with A equals 560 divided by four. 560 divided by four would be, if we divide by two, that'll be 280, then divide by two again, giving us 140. You can do long division if you'd like to, but essentially the conclusion is we have 140 adult tickets sold right there. And there we are, my math party people. I know that one was a doozy. I know for sure that one was a doozy, but hey, we got the correct answer. And I really do hope that you learned something today. Please go ahead, leave a like, comment on the video, and make sure you're following the channel. That way we can keep putting out videos for students just like you. Love you all, my party people. I'll check you out next time. And again, don't forget to sign up for this Monday's class coming up.